everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. If I sound a little bit nervous in recording this video, it's because I am. I'm gonna be sharing with you inside my handbag collection. The handbags that I have been collecting for over 10 years. Now, the reason why I'm nervous is I don't want this video, as I'm sharing with you luxury designer handbags, to detract from my message of being financially responsible. All of these handbags that I'm about to show you, I have paid for them in cash and I have purchased them for myself after achieving a particular goal in my life. So please know that this is not a video to encourage you to rush out and go and spend all of your hard earned money on luxury designer goods. So before I share with you each handbag and the story behind it, I'm gonna share with you the seven rules that I always follow before I purchase any handbag. All right, rule number one is quality. I would much prefer to invest in quality than quantity. I wanna make sure that when I purchase a handbag, particularly a luxurious designer handbag, that it stands the test of time, that I can get my dollar per wear out of that handbag. So before I purchase any handbag, I will really research and investigate the quality. Now, also once I've purchased that handbag, I take really good care of my handbags. I make sure that they are stored away correctly in their soft bags. I make sure they are out of direct sunlight. And whenever I do use a handbag, I make sure that when I'm using it, I wipe it down when I get home. I don't leave handbags on tables or areas where they could risk getting scuffed or scratched. And if ever there is a little bit of natural wear and tear on my handbag, I make sure I take it to a high quality boot maker as quickly as possible so that it can be fixed. I want my handbags to stand the test of time. So having a quality handbag is well worth it. Rule number two is color. You will see as I go through my handbags behind me that all of my handbags match my color palette for my wardrobe. This means I can literally grab any of these handbags and they will go with pretty much all of my clothes. It means I can make the most of my purchases. I can create a whole wide range of different looks and different styles with all of my shoes, handbags and clothes combination. And I have to say, by investing a little bit of time getting to know and understand your color palette, it will make getting dressed so much easier, so much faster and with so much joy because I really believe that color really reflects your mood. Rule number three is details. When it comes to purchasing a handbag, I love to look at the unique details. The stitching, the color, the fabric, the hardware, anything that makes it special or unique or really stand out because I love handbags and I love how a handbag can really transform an outfit and make a really casual outfit look really quite high end. Rule number four is versatility. When it comes to purchasing a handbag, I wanna make sure that I can style it and wear it in a whole range of different ways. So not only does it work with a whole range of different outfits, it really works for my lifestyle. I can wear it as a crossbody. I can double the strap over and wear it over the shoulder. I can tuck the straps into the handbag ideally and wear it as a clutch. This helps me make sure I can make the most of my handbags and as I said, get my dollars per wear out. Now a great hack that I always do before I go and purchase a handbag when it comes to versatility is I will Google that handbag style along with the words street style. That way I can see a wide range of how other people from around the world have taken that handbag and styled it and worn it in a whole range of different ways. It's a fantastic source of inspiration and also I have to say a little bit of motivation. Rule number five is budget. I will never ever purchase a handbag if it's going to jeopardize my financial well-being. I always save up for my handbag before I purchase it. And if it means waiting a really long time, I'm okay with delayed gratification because it means I'm gonna appreciate that handbag so much more. It's gonna mean more to me. Also, I always make sure I have my financial priorities in check. I will make sure I have achieved a particular goal before purchasing that handbag. The handbag is my reward. Now, there have been times in my life where I haven't achieved that particular goal and I haven't purchased a handbag and I'm completely comfortable with that. Rule number six is lifestyle. Purchasing a handbag that matches my true, authentic and honest lifestyle. You will notice that I only own two clutches and that is because 
I don't really go to that many black tie events where I'm going to need a clutch. So for me, it doesn't make sense in owning a whole wide range of clutches. I shop for what I actually need because I want to make sure I use and wear my handbags as much as possible. And finally, rule number seven when it comes to purchasing a luxury designer handbag, and this actually goes for anything in your wardrobe or any sort of major purchase, and that is only buy what you love, value, use, and appreciate. All right, enough of my rules and my financial responsibilities lecture. Let me share with you the handbags that I have collected over the last 10 years, if not longer. All right, starting with my clutches. Now, as I said, I don't really go to that many black tie events, so it doesn't make sense to own a wide range of evening clutches. So I've kept it pretty classic and I've kept it incredibly versatile. First up is a pre-loved Louis Vuitton, I think it's the Atelier or Altair clutch. This is actually a fabric clutch. It's not something I would highly recommend because with fabric handbags, they do tend to wear very, very quickly, particularly on the corners. However, this is, I think, about seven years old and it's going really well. And it's the perfect size for my lifestyle. It's enough for me to be able to put in a, uh, some makeup, my keys, my phone, and a little bit of room for anything else like a wallet. So this is absolutely perfect for me. My other handbag, and this is probably maybe 10 or 11 years old, and this is a Sarah's bag. I bought it very special to me. I bought it in Beirut in Lebanon and it's actually made by the female prisoners. Now these handbags are absolutely one of a kind. They're, the quality is absolutely incredible. All the beads, all the sequins are well intact and it's something that's really special and again a fantastic size and something that is very versatile that I can dress up and dress down. Next up, and this is a new handbag uh, if for people who have been following my channel for a really long time, this handbag was actually a birthday present from Tom. Now, I threw Tom an incredible birthday party for him. It's something I paid for myself a couple of years ago. And when it came to my birthday, uh, I've had the last two birthdays in COVID lockdown, so I wasn't able to have a party. So Tom knew how much I love Chanel handbags and how, for me, having these handbags is something I want to have for a really long time and be able to eventually pass on to our daughters. So I absolutely love the blue, the color blue. My sugar mama color is blue. And so Tom purchased this for me and I absolutely love it. Again, this is a really versatile bag. You can style it in a whole wide range of different ways. It can be worn like this over the shoulder. I can also tuck the cords into the handbag and wear it as a clutch. And it again, it is the perfect size for my wallet, my phone, and a little bit of makeup. And it's a really fun pop of color, which breaks away from a lot of the key colors in my handbag collection. All right, next up, I believe is my Dior, Dior Diorama handbags. I love these. They're really fun, cute little handbags. Can be worn as a clutch or crossbody or over the shoulder. So incredibly versatile. Again, the colors are really classic. They go with absolutely everything in my wardrobe and this one I have to say in particular I purchased it thinking it would be an evening clutch and I wouldn't really wear it that much but in fact I wear it so much I would love to wear this but in particular during the daytime with light colored denim because it really pops and elevates an outfit and this metallic look really I guess gives it a more of a high-end finish Plus, I love the gold hardware because it matches the jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis. Next up is uh, another crossbody. I, you'll see a lot of crossbodies because it matches my lifestyle. This is the Gucci Disco Soho. Now, I've had so many people ask me if I would ever be interested in selling this, and my answer is always no. I purchased this handbag when I took Rocco to Paris um, shortly after my marriage ended, and I uh, it was a really special handbag because I busted my balls to get Rocco and I to Paris. It was a really special trip and this is something I purchased with him in Paris and I absolutely love it. Again, I wear this all the time. It's just fantastic with kids and again, enough to fit my mobile phone, uh, my keys and my wallet. Next up is this Louis Vuitton handbag. I bought this for I think under $300 through eBay. Um, it's pre-loved and um, I, this is just one of those ones where I don't think they make this anymore. 
Um, again, I've been asked if I'd ever be interested in selling it. Nope, because I absolutely love value use and appreciate. Again, incredibly versatile. And the great thing about these is they're, you know, th this is really old, but it still looks fantastic. And I can clip off the straps. I can use it as a clutch. I can wear it over my shoulder. This actually comes with two straps and everything is nicely, safely and secured inside. I never need to worry about something falling out. Next up oops, is another Chanel handbag. This is a Chevron lambskin one. Again, with Chanel, you've got to be very careful with, with the fabrics. Normally, I'd only go with a caviar um, leather. Uh, so I have to be very careful of this, making sure I take really good care of this. But this handbag is, I think, four years old. I purchased it in Paris after achieving a particular financial goal. And again, I absolutely love it. Incredibly versatile. I have a lot of navy blue in my wardrobe. I love wearing all navy blue. It's a really elegant piece and I absolutely love it. Next up, I'm gonna double up here. Now, these handbags are both pre-loved. Um, this handbag I purchased, I think, 10 years or if not longer. And this has been incredibly versatile. I have worn this so much. Again, you can style it and wear it in a whole range of different ways. I've always kept really good care of it. The corners are in perfect condition. As I say, you can style it, wear it as a clutch. Now, I wore this so much, I realized that I really wanted to be able to have another version of this, but with a different hardware. So I have the silver hardware, and then I have a smaller version, but with the gold hardware. Again, another really versatile piece that I absolutely love. And I will share in the video description box below all the links as to where I love to purchase these handbags from when it comes to pre-loved, because this really helps me save some money. Also, I should point out, some of my handbags that I've purchased, I've purchased well, and they've actually held their value or they've actually gone up in value. Now that is not a recommendation to go out and invest in handbags. These are not investments. These are lifestyle assets. But it is worth noting that if you take good care of your handbags, they may hold their value if you ever need to go on and resell them for whatever reason. Next up is a Givenchy Nightingale handbag. Again, a really versatile piece. And I can throw this over my shoulder because it's got a versatile strap or just hold it like a clutch. I wear this a lot during winter when I've got like a jumper or a scarf to throw in here. A really great piece. And I think this is actually more than 10 years old. So I'm really sort of showing you how much I love my handbags and how I hold on to them indefinitely. All right, next up is my Dolce & Gabbana leopard print handbag. I love leopard print but I have to make sure I keep my love of leopard print intact because it can sometimes look tacky. I'm also super fussy when it comes to leopard print because some leopard print can very easily go wrong. Now, I actually saw this handbag originally in David Jones and I loved it, but I thought it was too expensive. I went and did lots of research and I ended up discovering it pre-loved for about four or $500. I don't think the person realized what they really retailed for at the time. And I was able to grab this as an, as an absolute bargain. And again, I've worn it a lot. It has had to be taken back to a bootmaker to have the straps resealed and re-glued, but I absolutely love it. And it really does help elevate an outfit, particularly when you wear all black with just one pop of leopard print. Next up is my Oriton backpack. I'm sharing with you a lot of luxury designer goods and I also want to make sure I show you how much I love Australian luxury designer goods. Now, if you go into an Oriton store or walk past an Oriton store, go and check it out. They have the most incredible selection of handbags that are reasonably priced. They, I think they change designers and it's incredible what they have done. I absolutely love this. Now, this is great for when I'm out and about with my kids because it means I can fit a lot of stuff and it fits on my back with two hands being free to chase after my kids. And again, in a really versatile color that goes with pretty much my whole entire wardrobe. Uh, next up, I have three handbags. Now I'm gonna share with you all three at the same time because I achieved some very important goals for myself all at the same time. Now, first up, we have a Leboy handbag with black hardware. I purchased this, again, details. I didn't have anything like it with the black hardware. So for me, I thought this was really fun, particularly for the winter months, you know, autumn and winter, where I love to wear a lot of black. This is a chic, elegant look. Next up, the same handbag, but in a mushroom color. Again, this is another handbag where people ask me all the time if I'd ever be interested in selling it. And again, my answer is no. But I love this because the hardware on this is light gold. So it's a very soft color. And I have to say, this is probably one of my most versatile 
versatile handbags that I own. It pretty much goes with about 95% of my wardrobe. And it's funny because Chanel have put their prices up so much, this is actually not only held its value, it's actually gone up in value. But again, this is not advice to go out and buy a Chanel handbag thinking it's an investment. These are all lifestyle assets. Next up is a light pink Chanel handbag and this is one that I, I absolutely love. I wear it a lot during summertime, but I have to make sure because it's a light color, I take really good care of it when it comes to, you know, putting it down when I'm out and about. So making sure it's away from like liquids or food that might splash up against it. But again, the, the gold hardware matches the jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis. An incredibly versatile piece, fantastic for summer and spring. And again, a really great size and a great handbag that I can style and wear in a whole range of different ways. Next up is my Chanel Kelly handbag. And you will notice this from my book, Mindful Money. This was my reward to myself for writing Mindful Money. Uh, writing Mindful Money sent me into the fetal position. It was an incredibly stressful um, period to write this. I was under incredible deadlines with all sorts of external pressures around me at the time. And I was also doing IVF. So when I finished this book, this is what why it was my reward to myself. And it's a really special bag because I look at back at the time of like writing my book and, and all the the highs and lows of writing a book, particularly when it comes to a second book, because it's different from the first book. But um, again, I absolutely love it. And it's one of my best friends actually um, wrapped this around. It's a, it's a Hermes uh, scarf for handbags. And it's again, given it an extra pop of color. And this comes with an additional strap so I can again, style it and wear it in a whole range of different ways and a great size to put all of my stuff. Next up is my Chanel number 19 bag. Now it's really funny, initially when this collection came out, I hated it, I thought it was really tacky. But over time, the more and more bags I saw, I started to fall in love with it. I achieved a very important goal for myself and in looking at handbags, I never went in to go and buy this, but something in this just stood out in the store and I went back and visited it about th oh, three times one time I actually had to wait 45 minutes outside of the store to go and see this bag for the third time and that's when I realized, look, if I'm prepared to stand out in the cold waiting to get into the store to go and look at this handbag, I think I'm ready to buy it. And as I said, I sent pictures of it to my friends who I really respect their style and taste and asked them what they thought to make sure I was you know, not being like frivolous and buying something that I may regret. And I absolutely love it. And it's a, again, a really versatile bag that you can wear as a clutch. You can wear it over the shoulder. Um, you can wear it over your wrist and a great size. And I have to say, I'm really glad I purchased this. It's a really fun bag. It's so different from the other ones that I own in that it's a really strong, loud pop of color, but it really does bring all my other classic outfits to life. And I have to say, I actually now really want another two of these. I'd love another one in black. Um, and I'd love another, love another one in like a creamy beige, but that's going to be added to my list. And I've got way more bigger and better financial goals to achieve before I can go and reward myself with any more purchases like this. And then my two final handbags to share with you are my Celine belt bag. Again, this is a bag which is great for you know going to business meetings because um, I can fit my iPad, I can fit my like keys, I can fit handbags, water bottles. If I've got kids snacks in here or anything like that, it's really great. Again, it can be styled and worn in a whole range of different ways. And this was actually a part of a gift from a store where I put some money towards the gift voucher that they gave me. And um, I was a little bit apprehensive because I was wondering if I was purchasing at the time just because I had a gift voucher because I felt the stress and pressure of that. But I, again, I followed my, you know, my formula. I really thought about it. I, Googled and researched it so I knew different ways to style it and I'm really happy whenever I see other people carrying this handbag and I realize how good it looks it just reminds me I'm so glad I actually did follow my gut do my research and I haven't had any regrets in purchasing this and it's a really good classic style and it's also a really nice change from my other handbags because Celine handbags I find to be really understated. They're not as loud as say a Chanel bag is with a big loud, loud brand and logos splashed across it. It's a lot more understated and subtle. So it's a nice break from what I already own without being too wild or crazy. This is my Louis Vuitton bag. Now this handbag, it has this funny story behind it and it's why I really do feel comfortable buying luxury handbags. Now I had a big black Louis Vuitton tote, but the glue actually melted out of the handbag. 
I took it to the store to try and get it fixed and they immediately took it away from me and gave me a large credit note. And they explained that they had a problem with their batch and that I had, I had to get a new handbag. They wouldn't let me get it fixed and they wouldn't give it back to me. So I used that credit note to purchase this one. Again, it was a handbag that I thought would be a bit different. I was happy to have a break from the totes because I was using my leopard print so much at the time and that's a great size. So I thought I'd break up my handbags and have something different, you know, diversify, just like I like to diversify my investment portfolio. But this has been a really great purchase. And the cool thing about Louis Vuitton bags is most of them come with these little pouches inside which you can unclip and use as a separate wallet or even a separate clutch. But this is great and I wear it with light colored denim, um, white denim. I absolutely love it. It's, it's a great bag and also a great size, particularly for when I'm out and about with kids and you've got to carry their stuff and their snacks and their jumpers. But I really love it and I take really good care of it, especially because it's a light color. And then finally, this bag, which actually Tom purchased for me uh, when we first started seeing each other. It was an incredibly generous purchase. He was a little bit overwhelmed and confused and called one of my girlfriends um, to help get advice and she steered him into Louis Vuitton and she um, encouraged him to purchase this bag. So I, I think he was quite shocked as to what the handbag world looks like because Tom's such a boy's boy. But um, I absolutely love it. It's a really special handbag to me and I can't wait one day to be able to give it to either Tiger or Apple and let them know this was the first handbag that their father purchased for me and watch them wear it and style it in their own unique way. All right, everyone, that is my handbag collection. That is absolutely every single handbag that I own. I really hope that you've enjoyed seeing everything that I own and please know that I am not recommending you go out and spend all of your hard earned money on luxury designer goods unless of course you have your priorities in check and you follow ideally the seven rules that I recommend when it comes to purchasing a luxury good. Now I have linked in the video description box below all of these handbags so you can go and check them out for yourself including the stores that I like and have purchased from in the past and I trust them and I know that they have reasonable prices when it comes to buying pre-loved handbags. All right everyone thank you so much for watching please make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel and I will see you next week for more financial motivation, inspiration, and education. Thanks for watching.